Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be making a spread in my academic planner which is the Happy Planner teacher layout for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. So I mention this every single time I do a layout in this planner but I use it for Monday through Sunday even though the teacher layout goes Monday through Friday. So that's why I'm kind of messing around with the dates that are already listed on the page. I'm going to try to keep this one simple. I want to do like a fast, simple spread in this one. So I'm going to do a collage style spread where I kind of put a bunch of stickers down the center of the spread and then not so much out in the periphery of it. And to do that, I'm going to be using this, um, and forgive, <laughs> this might be the perfect opportunity to say pardon my French, um, but <laughs> my pronunciation is not going to be spot on here. Papillon? Um, I, I really do not know. It's the butterfly sticker book. So I'm going to be using some butterflies in this one and I'm going to be doing kind of a monochromatic orange theme for this. It's going to match kind of the yellowy orange tones that are already on the page, even though I'm going to be covering those up. So I'm going to use these kind of butterflies, some other ones from the book, etc. to do just like a butterfly column down the center. And then all the other room on this page is going to be functional. So this is what we're working with this week. I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. And I don't want to get too crazy detailed with this to the point where I'm like whiting out lines or um, like trying to move things around the boxes that are already on the page. I just want to stick some stickers down. It has been a long night and I want to make this spread. I'm trying to get back on YouTube and post some videos and I'm kind of in the planning mindset. So I'm taking this rose gold butterfly. It's a pretty big one and I think it's one of the bigger ones that are in this sticker book and I'm going to use this to kind of anchor my two pages together. Eventually I'll cut them apart and repunch them, but for now I'm going to start with my biggest stickers so I can keep them attached and I'm trying my best to keep the punches lined up. But yeah, I was saying it's been a pretty long night. I was at a concert earlier, hence the weird mark on the back of my hand. These ones are kind of cute, more yellowy than orange. I think I'm really going for like orange here. So this is what I'm playing around with primarily. I love these monarch butterflies and I want to kind of overlap them with each other or kind of nestle them into clusters and I'll find something to fill up like the dead space in between them. I know I have some embellishment stickers from Lupita's shop. And that's LPTG Creates, if I'm not mistaken. The letters always get me. But I'm just kind of butterflying it up in the meantime. I'm going to do some bigger ones first. And this is a pretty simple way to make a spread if you need a lot of functional room. Um, and you can spare, like, this row of boxes. In this case, I can, because I will have enough room in the other boxes that are on this page. I typically use this planner to mark out the different readings that I have to do. So this is my academic planner. I use it for all things grad school related. And what that really comes down to is as a grad student, I take classes um, and I also teach classes, but most of the work comes from the classes that I personally take. So I need to find a place to mark down all of the different readings that I'm doing in any given week. And that can range from entire books to multiple chapters of books. I just need to write them down. Otherwise, I'll forget. And for something like this that goes off the edge of the page, I'm going to cut that right away so that I can use this portion somewhere else in the spread. And because I'm really only placing things down the center of the pages, the only logical place that this would go in this spread is right back up to the top of the page. And I can do that. There we go. I'm happy to be out of the white planning void of the poster board that was last week's Plan With Me videos. So I'm back in my own, my own home with my own um, poster board. But this one's pretty. It has some contact paper on it to make it more visually pleasing. And I think it really does help with the lighting of the video to have something other than white background to focus on. It just started getting really washed out and it was starting to bother me on the editing, out of, on the editing end of things. So 
I assume as a viewer, it was probably worse on your end. I prefer this, um, this faux wood. So thank you to all of you who responded to my query about what kind of background you prefer in Plan With Me videos. Okay, so I'm adding in a bunch of these. There's a lot of this particular butterfly design in there, so I'm trying to move in some smaller ones of other designs so it doesn't look like there's a whole cluster of them at the top of the page. I suppose they could be a butterfly family if, um, <laughs> if there's no other options, but I would rather there be some diversity in the different types of butterflies I'm using in this spread. And now that I look at this as a whole, I'm seeing that I only used one of the ones that's just the rose gold. So I'm going to go find some smaller ones of that type next, after I get that on the page. I'm not going to use this one that has the floral on it, because I think it kind of detracts from what I'm trying to do with just single serve butterflies. Okay, so I've got a few more of the tiny ones from this. And if I move these into the design, this one won't look so lonely. And I could go for that medium size as well, but I think this is probably a good starting place. I've used this book, I want to say once so far. I used it in a daily, I know that. But I don't think it ever made it to like a social media or a catch-all planner spread. I think it really just stuck with the daily and I kind of left it at that. I actually found this book in, um, and this is going to sound very like oddly specific. I found this book in the box. It's like a FabFitFun box, like the actual box of the FabFitFun box um, that I used to hold up my laptop during Zoom classes just because I need it elevated slightly. But I realized that I was holding stuff in there for storage reasons, but not actually using the stuff that was in there, this butterfly book being included. And I was like, you know what? I want to use this. It's a, it's a fairly new sticker book to my, my personal collection, and I think in general it's a fairly new sticker book. So nothing worse than buying it and just, like, not using it. Okay. I have a lot of butterflies on the page. I'm going to go ahead and cut the pages apart so I can kind of think about them separately again rather than one continuous piece of butterfly cluster. I will eventually need to repunch these pages because they're covering up a lot of the, the um, like hole punches. And I don't think the crocodile is the punch for that job. I think I actually need to use like the multi hole punch for this because it's all of them, not just one of them. But this is a good starting place to think about them separately again. And I kind of like it. I think it's fun. It's different than things I've been doing lately. I used to do a lot more of these collage style spreads than I've been doing in the last like few months or so. So always returning to old ideas and kind of revamping them with new stickers and new conceptual frameworks. <laughs> I'm really loving this butterfly washi and I want to keep it vertically. I think it's really cute how it has the wings kind of sandwiched between the two of them. It's similar to what I was doing in the center but with washi tape. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have enough of it to do what I'm wanting to do, which is a cluster up here and then a cluster that kind of comes up from the sidebar. So I'm going to pick a different washi from my collection to kind of accent that so I can kind of alternate between the two different pieces. I've been using a lot of this black plus sign washi lately, so I think that might be the one for the job. And it'll bring out some of those black tones that are in the wings. I think it's fun to have a more graphic, like, patterned washi with something that's a little bit more decorative like this. So, I'm going to make some little washi clusters that go vertically on the pages. I've got a pretty long one here, and it's not going to take up all of my functional room across all three of these boxes. Like, in something like this, I could still write around it. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of writing to do in that top box. So I can spare a little bit more room there to get decorative, but it's not a terrible move in the grand scheme of things. I'm also realizing that you can most definitely see the indent from my Apple Watch. I normally take it off when I'm filming because it 
attract glare and it turns on when I rotate my wrist a certain way. So I just don't want to have like an Apple watch on my wrist while I'm filming a video. But um, you wear it for so long and then it makes this weird circle on your wrist where it's like um, tracking your heart rate. Like that's the place where it tracks your heart rate. And it just looks kind of wonky just to have that weird circle on your wrist. So I normally take it off and I normally like try to wait it out, wait the circle away. But today I was feeling impatient. So I did the plus signs and I did the butterflies and then I'm going to do another strip of them just to the left of that. And I was trying to do things at different heights, like they kind of slope down that direction. I think it'll make more sense when I get the other cluster into play. So I'm going to do the sidebar, but I first need to white all of these dates out. And eventually I'll need to go back in and find some colorful boxes to cover these up with. To match that uh, black and white plus sign washi, I'll probably do black boxes, which is always a good move now that I have my Mojo Jojo Plans black colorful boxes sticker book. So black boxes are in abundance which is a wonderful thing to say because I go through those and I go through the gold ones way too fast. Now I'm going to repeat the process of the washi taping down here. And there's also never very much going on in this bottom row of boxes. That's kind of the miscellaneous section. So I don't feel too bad about covering it up with some washi tape. Using the black and white plus, plus signs. I don't know where this is from, so unfortunately I cannot tell you. Um, I would assume Michael's. That's where most of my washi tape comes from. Granted, they don't actually have that um, decent of a supply at, at the Michael's I go to, but you can always find one or two gems and Washi tape lasts you a long time, much longer than you think it's going to. So I have washi tape in my collection that has been in my washi tape collection several years. Like, I have washi tape that has moved with me. I have washi tape that has seen me graduate um, from high school, from college. The craft supplies comes with me everywhere I go, and I... I'm trying to de-stash some of it, but it's hard to let go of it. You know, you get your sentimental attachment to your washi tape. Um, so that's kind of what I'm playing around with there. I'm going to go ahead and find some black boxes to deal with this column. I got the Mojo Jojo Plams Black Boxes book. And I should say, I graduated from college in 2019. So it's, it's pretty impressive that I've had washi tape for the last, like, three years um, if not the last seven years when I, is that when I graduated from high school? I don't even remember at this point. Um, but the washi tape is a constant in my life. And part of me just wishes they made smaller rolls of washi tape that I would actually just like run out of. And then I could like feel less guilty about buying more of it. I just got a Simply Gilded order in the mail with three new washi tapes. Well, actually, it was four new washi tapes in the mail. They sent me the wrong one, and they were very apologetic about, like, the fact that they accidentally sent me the wrong one. And they're going to send me the right one, but it's like now I have even more washi tape than I ordered in the first place. Very sweet of them, but I just ordered more washi tape. So the amount of washi tape that comes into the collection does not match the amount that goes out of the collection. So I wish I, wish I could get through it faster is what I'm saying. Maybe I should turn into one of those people who makes the washi tape art, you know, where they like draw the shapes and then they fill it in with washi tape of varying colors. That's most of what my TikTok is, is like crafting content. But I digress. I've gone on a lot of tangents in this video. I think it's because I'm up late and I just got like home from something and I just have a lot of energy. But Boxes are on the page. I think that looks really good with just the plain black boxes after all the different details that are coming into play in the center of the page and these little clusters. So that's looking good. I'll probably use these to mark out meetings in a second. I do want to work in a quote somewhere. So this is what I've got as far as quotes go in this book. 
I'm looking at the dream big and I think it would be kind of fun along the bottom line of this box. But to make that work, I want to take this skinnier strip of washi tape and just move it up ever so slightly so that I can put the quote underneath it. I didn't need that box anyway. I probably should have paid attention to all of my various syllabi to count out how many boxes I need for any given class prior to making this spread, but I like to live dangerously. So if there's not enough room in the boxes, I will make room. But right now I just want to put butterflies on pages and make something pretty. So we've got Dream Big down there and then there's a couple other in this font. So Shine Your Light, You Are Magic, Find Your Bliss, Bold, Beautiful, and Brave. Why is Brave capitalized when the other two aren't? Forget about it. I'm not even going to bother. Maybe that's the one we go with tonight. Some random capitalization. Never made a day worse. Okay. This one's going to go up into this cluster. And because it's foiled, it'll still be visible even if I place it on top of that butterfly washi tape. And I think it looks good to have it go over that. It adds some visual interest and it really says, like, these are grouped together rather than rather than them being two disjointed parts that kind of coexist next to each other. That's good for quotes. Um, I'm going to add in meetings now. So, oh no. Okay. Well, I'll use those boxes very soon. I use a lot of black colorful boxes. I'm looking for the square ones, which will fill up a classic sized teacher planner box. This is the big sized teacher planner. So there's going to be a little bit of breathing room around them, which I think I prefer to having the boxes touch the edges of the page boxes. So meeting in this class, and I actually have to lead said meeting. So definitely want to make sure I have a box for that. And then I think I'm going to have a meeting for this class right here. And if not a meeting, I know I have an assignment due for that one. So I'm going to put this here for that. And then I think I'm also discussion leading the class that goes in this row of boxes. So for this one, we're going to go down here again. I do like that it kind of stays in the same column as the one up in the top, balances things out nicely. And then for this one, I don't think I have anything yet. I can always add boxes as needed. It's a little harder to take them away because they're kind of curled from being on the pages. So I'd rather be more um, strategic with the box placement now and then add in things as I need. Before I get any further into this, and I think I might be kind of hitting the end of this spread, I'm going to go ahead and punch the disc punches with all the butterflies over them. So I'll be able to put it back on the discs and get a better look at it there. So I got them all punched. I wasn't able to find any of those embellishment stickers from LTPG Creates um, in Sticker Purgatory, which is essentially where all the stickers disappear to in my apartment once I've used them once. They're not in their albums, like where they need to be, but they are somewhere. I just don't know where they are. However, I did find a sheet in the sticker pur purgatory as well um, from, according to Allie, this one is called Dale's, Days Labels, and it is like label maker stuff. And I thought this could be fun to label the different meetings that I have. So. I'm going to just kind of like smack them on the corner of stuff like labels would go. So we got Monday. This one is Wednesday. Oh, wait. That one's for the assignment due. So that would be Friday. And I'll mix it up. Some of them will go on the left. Some of them will go on the, white, on the right. Words are hard. Okay. And then for this one, this one's going to be Wednesday. I don't exactly like that if I place it this way to kind of alternate them, then these are both on the right side. So I'm going to mix it up and put this one on the left side over here. And I kind of want it to move into this cluster with the washi tape as well. I think that looks
looks fun. I'm gonna call this a spread and pop it back onto the discs. I love the way this turned out. Eventually, I'm gonna need some bullet points in here to kind of mark the different readings so I can check things off when I get them done. But I'll figure that out when I look at all the syllabi and like figure out when things are actually like scheduled for. So that'll be a last step. I'll probably do orange to match the butterflies. It'll make sense. But for the time being, I'm very happy with this. I think it's fun to have all these butterflies in the middle. I'm really feeling the spring weather, even though it's been like snowing and raining and then really cold and then 75 degrees. But I guess that is what spring weather is. So I can't be too angry about that. Um, but I'm imagining like a nice 60 degree spring and I like the butterflies with that concept. So this is what we've got for the academic planner this week. I am very pleased with it. I didn't find a place to put the dates on here, but that's like the least of my concerns right now. I think it's just fun as it is. So I'm gonna call it a night on this one. Here you go. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.